Hey YouTube, this is your homeboy, Seth Martial Art Fitness, and I just got done doing 10 sets of 3 exercises back to back. Um, I've done planks, I've done mountain climbers, I haven't done the ab wheel, and then I've done about 8 rounds on the exercise bike. One minute and 30 seconds with a 30 second rest. Um, I did not film the exercise bike, but usually in my older, older videos, you see me doing it. It's just me riding the bike, kind of boring, you know, watching me riding the bike. But, you know, most people like to use the exercise bike, so, you know, I might up the minutes in a once in a while on my conditioning on it. And conditioning is the hamstrings. Um, the back of the legs, um, the planks, you know, help the core and the shoulders. Um, mountain climbers help the core out. Ab wheel helps the. I'm kind of new to the ab wheel, so I don't know really what it's for. Um, I'm guessing it's for the core, um, but it does strengthen the core. But that's not about what we're going to do today in this video. Um, I'm going to show you some kicking drills. It seems like a lot of people like my conditioning drills and my martial art videos and um, my weightlifting videos and my leg workout videos. So I'm going to do uh, Taekwondo um, kicking drills on the bag, um, basic Taekwondo drills. Um, I'm going to do three different kicks. One is a rear leg roundhouse. The other one is rear leg hook kick and rear leg side kick. Um, those are the three kicks that we're going to do. In. We're going to go back to back on each side. Um, you know, if you're a beginner, start out with 10, but if you're advanced, do 20. But I'm going to do 10 in the video just to show you guys on what you can do as a beginner level in martial arts. Um, basically, just doing it on your own at home and stuff like that. Um, if you want to get in shape, you know, like kickboxing shape or uh, taekwondo shape, karate shape, um, whatever it is style you want to be, you know, just get up and train. It doesn't matter. What style you'll do, if it helps you protect yourself out on the street or whatever, um, if you just keep hitting the bag every time, conditioning those parts on your limbs, they'll be really, really, really effective for a street fight, um, competition fighting, anything, you name it, you got it, it'll get the job done. If you know how to apply it into a street fight uh, or into a competition fight. So... We're going to start off with the rear leg roundhouse. We're going to do 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Rest a little bit. Do the other side. One, two, three. Now, you notice I'm kicking with my hand step of the foot. You can kick with the shin of the foot. Chin up the leg um, with it. Um, that's more Muay Thai when you kick with the shins. Um, but the end step's more like the karate and taekwondo. Like. We're on three, four. Make sure you pivot the foot. One minute. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. N-word sidekick. Now that's the one that's more tricky. It's kind of like how we did the roundhouse. Except you bring it in. Angle off to the side. You take. You kick. You kick with this part. The blade of the foot. Um, you can kick with the heel of the foot. But it's more effective when you kick with the blade of the foot. So, two, three, four, five, six, Notice how I angled my foot and the leg in and worked to my gut and I pushed it out like a spear. Other side. The left side is always tricky. Because usually sometimes when you kick with the left leg, left side or whatever, it's always tricky because it's always the weak, weakest leg to do things on. Two, three, four, five, six. Now you notice when that back came, I had my elbow going down, but it wasn't about the video on that part. We'll get to that to a better video. video. Um, but the inward elbow, this is dirty fight for Taekwondo, comp taekwondo competition fight. You know, if somebody's kicking, and you go down a block with your elbow, their instep of the foot is going to end up hitting your elbow. They're pointing in the part of your elbow and um, they'll damage their foot. So that's the reason why when I throw that kick, I kind of bring it down like a boxer's move and the boxer's block and kind of like let it kick in. Let it hit like it's a, a kick. So that's the end word side kick, and that's it on each side. Now we're gonna do um, rear leg reverse hook kick. It's kind of like throwing a roundhouse, kind of like how he did throwing a roundhouse. Well, except if going forward, you're bringing it. Bring it around and then kick. But you can either kick with the heel 
you kick with the ball of the foot when it goes over. Um, when it kind of like goes there like that. But you can also use the heel um, when kicking. Two. Three. Four. Relax, rest a little bit if you have to. You notice how I kind of brought my leg up and I kicked with my heel. Um, it, it can do damage if somebody gets clocked with your heel or your foot. Bam! It'll hit right here on the chin or it'll hit right here on the temple if you can get your leg up that high. But if not, you can still clock in the gut with it or groin, or you can use it on her leg. You know, if you want to do like, it'll help you with your uh, hip throws. One, that one was kind of a sloppy one. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It doesn't matter, you can still just get a light tap, you don't have to be hard. But, uh, um, those type of kicks aren't really meant to be hard anyway. It's more of like, kind of like, hey, I'm coming in off an off angle, so going in with a forward angle. Um, that's the only way I can explain it. There you have it. Three different kicking drills. Or martial arts, um, or Taekwondo, great workout, you know, I'm already sweaty, I'm already been sweating anyway, because I already made one video guy for you guys, now I'm in another video with you right now, so, there you have it, you know, um, also one more, if you really want to knock somebody out, um, hit them in the solar plus, the solar plus is right here, um, or you can hit them in the temple. Um, you don't want to hit them in the throat. Throat is more of like a kill shot. Um, but you do want to hit them. If you do hit them um, in, the, in the solar plex, you punch like that. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again. There you have it, you just hit, aim for the center line, bam.
I added a little function drills and I added along with the kicking. So there you have it. Um, kind of like a kickboxing workout. Um, that's all I can do for you right now. Other than that, train hard, train smart. Please hit the like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. I don't care what you say anymore. Uh, I will subscribe. To the, I will try to reply back if I can. If not, don't worry about it. It's not your loss. Um, it's just either it's probably because I'm either busy or I can't really apply to it right away. But I will apply to it soon. But just have patience. Um, or I might make a reaction video to it. Who knows? Um, like I said, train hard, train smart, dude. Do what you can do to motivate yourself every day because motivation is what keeps you going into working out. Sometimes that might not be it, but you know, um, another thing is is to always have the heart and the will, um, heart of the tire, eyes of the tire, always be fierce, always be ferocious when training, always go hard. If you don't go hard, go home. Pack your bags and go home. Because what's the point of even training? Um, when it comes to my training, I am very, very strict on how I do things, how I want to do it. Um, if you train with me, um, I would train you to get in the best shape you possibly can. And like I said, you know, um, if you want to get a hold of me, look me up on Instagram for. Um, All small letters and the number four. And like I said, if y'all want to train under me, um, leave me a message. Um, I do have PayPal. I will give you my PayPal information if um, if you do want to train under me um, in the martial arts or anything like that. I will charge people online to train under me. But if you don't want to pay, you can watch these videos, learn off the videos, learn do what I do. Um, it will get you in a shape, I promise. Um, you just got to have dedication um, and patience. You know, it took me a lot of years. Um, I started when I was 15. Now I'm 36. I'm in the best shape of my life. Um, but yeah, I mean, just stay active, stay, stay moving. Because um, you never know. When you're in a fight, you never know when you're going to be out of, out of, out of uh, gas and when you're fighting. You know, when you're in a fight... You don't want to be that first person to get winded after after a few minutes in the match. You want to get in there and get it done and get it over with real quick, as simple as you can. Quickest as you can. You don't want to be the last man. You don't want to be the first man down out of gas. So you got to end up staying fit, staying in shape. Um, otherwise, if you don't, Bam, you're done. You know, you're, you're going to be knocked out on the ground, probably even worse, probably stabbed or, you know, or head stomp or whatever, you know, so many times. But um, that's the reason why I always tell people, you know, always, always train, always train to improve, to always get better no matter what. Um, it doesn't have to be martial arts, but if you just want to get in shape, you know, do calisthenics, weightlifting, you know, I'll be training you in that um, to get you started on the basics, but you got to be the key to do it yourself. You know, I can be the online coach, you know, walk you all the way through, but when it comes to your goals on your knees, you got to want to do it. So there you have it, Seth Martial Art Fitness. Please hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. This is a heavy bag. I guess you could say karate, taekwondo, bad workout. Um, so, there you have it. Um, God bless and stay, stay peace with the mind, prosperity with the soul, and have a humble heart. And like I said, peace out, train hard, train smart, do your research. Please hit the like, subscribe. I am not really tired of saying that. Please hit the like, subscribe, hit the bell, hit all of the bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Feel like a butterfly, 
and see you another day. Peace.